Hello again, Chris here, and I'm back with yet another Two Point Campus video. So, I am currently working on Blunderguard, which is a spy-themed one for anybody that's new to this. In the last video, I just finished off Year 2, and I'm getting pretty close to the first star. I am just about done, I think it's the third research. So for one star, you need three research. You have to get ten... Uh, average B grade spy classes and keep that attractiveness level up for the food and what was the last one? Three research process oh and campus level 10 and I'm well past that so in the off summer I got up to campus level 13 so right now this is the first plot here like the first plot that you can buy after the original and I put the gym in here, bathroom, this is where I have my research station, and this is probably going to be where I put a fairly big student union. I might even end up removing this door and just having the door here and the student union be a nice big one. And maybe do something with this in a little bit, but this is the first plot. I've also increased the attractiveness level for quite a bit here. So as you can see, it's a lot more green than usual. And then I also purchased the two slots up here. So I put in another dormitory. This is the computer room that it required for year three. And another of the gadget labs. And I also had the science lab. And I made them a fair bit bigger than the bare minimum requirements for it. Which for the science lab, I think you have to make it at least a five by five. I think this is a 7x8, so there's plenty of room, and we'll have another staff room as well. And I might put, I don't know, I might put, uh, I could fit another one of the panic rooms in here, and then have another one of the gadget rooms in here as well, so we'll see what's required as time progresses in this, in this level. I also leveled up the spy school up to level 5. I'm bringing in 32 new students, and the gastronomy is still at level 1. So I don't really have to worry too much about that, but I think that I'm going to start this year off and just see how we do as far as the B-grade students. And where was the research project? I don't think I clicked on that. So we're just about done the research project, and after that, then I think I'll get the the second jetpack one, and then the second panic room. They're already working on upgrading the panic room. This is... It's level 2, so it's pretty well off. And I'm probably going to need another lecture hall for over here soon. I'm just not in a big rush to get it yet. So here we go. Year 3, Blunderguard, Spy School. And let's see how we do. Start the next year. And speed up, of course. Always want the fastest speed. And here's the library. I have the gastronomy and the spy one, the bookcases. So that's good. And the students are definitely thinking the campus is looking a bit more attractive now. I set up a nice little, almost like a park between the two. So I have some trees. I have the topiary. Oh, and they just finished the research. So let's go and get the next one set. So the next research I'm going to do is... Uh, spy obstacle course. Each one costs a thousand to start, except for that one, which only costs five hundred. But you could go with, let's see, twenty-five thousand, twenty-five thousand. Now nah, I'll stick with getting the the items that I can upgrade done first. It's usually best to go with that because in the end, like you don't have to worry too much about the kudosh or the money and monthly income. 43,000 as far as profit, so I'll work on getting some of those loans paid off. Actually, I have might as well repay the entire 50,000 one before the first month hits. And there we go. So, this is where we are. Uh, we just have to get through the B grade spy students, and I have a bonus objective to track a mole. Let's see if there. I don't see any confused people around. So I guess we don't have a mole on this level just yet. Nope, no moles. 
The bowls are the one that seems really difficult to actually get in this game. So, I'm debating on whether or not I want to use the cheesy method that people have recommended, where you save before trying to ex to, um, not eject, uh, expel a mole, or if I want to just, you know, guess, and if I'm wrong, then I just have to live with it. We'll see. So they want a book club bookcase. That is, I believe, the, yep, the $10,000 one. So let's put that one... Uh, it can fit here, but there's not a lot of point in going over there yet. So let's stick with putting it on the first campus. And I would say here is good, just because it'll still leave a plenty open path if people start flocking over to the gym. But it doesn't... Uh, it's still easily accessible and close enough to everybody to still be used. So, still nobody confused. That's good. And another request for a speed walking track. Okay, so the speed walking track is the 10,001 for the power walking club. And so let's see about putting it right here between the two buildings. So let's line that. Let's actually put it closer, closer to the gym. So there we go. It's in a fairly good location. It's enough out of the way that it's not going to block anybody, but it's still close enough that people can still access it. I was debating on putting it here just a second ago, but now nah, there's a good enough spot. All right, so we are almost at the first star. It just depends on the grades and seeing how they do here. So there are four spy classes in this in this month, and we'll see how they do there. Eight staff members are ready for training. Well, we don't have a training center just yet. All right, and campus just hit level 14. Bravo. Okay, what can we upgrade in the meantime? We're at 31,000. Uh, let's see how September rolls. So, any second now, and... Okay, so two B grades in that month. And let's see how our students are currently doing. So, a lot of uh, unallocated ones. We have some spy students that when they're coming in, they're still not doing that great from the get-go. So, let's bump them up and get a few things done. Uh... And, yeah, let's finish off getting the C's up there. Send you to the pastor. And I think we have enough teachers because I believe I'm at five spy teachers. Okay, so is that guy cold? So to check the temperature, numpad two. Okay, so I guess my... I could have sworn that I had a brazier around here. But I just saw that they were cold, so let's just throw in another one, just in case. And that heats up that area, and over here is pretty much fine. But just to make it a little bit more comfortable for everybody, let's put one close to the edge of this wall here. And that heats things up nicely, and then let's move this one, I would say maybe here, and just see, yep, that seems to warm things up better. Okay, so that takes care of that. We need four more spy students, and we have how many spy classes for this month? So, year one, year two, year one, year three. So, let's see if they do better this time around. Now, there's nothing really to upgrade in the, the computer lab that I know of. But, let's see. Are those lined up right? No, this is not directly against the wall. There we go. Okay, so... Let's see if we can keep that queue down, because we don't want them wasting too much time just waiting for something. Okay. Alright, so there is an even more of a queue, so let's add a third analog one. There we go. And see about if that helps a bit. Okay, so still a bit of a queue. Let's add one more. There we go. And we can always sell those later. Now, they are asking for a hugging tree. 
I think we can swing that. So let's put the hugging tree over in our new plot and let's line it up with the the center here along this road. And then to make it look a little bit nicer, let's change that up. So instead of just having it on sidewalk, let's put it on some dirt. So here is the, let's make it a nice little plot like that for the hugging tree. And instead of having it just be a square, why don't we make a little bit of a change and go like that? So that looks a bit nicer now. Those aren't the right uh, tiles, though. Is that it? Nope, that's not it. It's this one? Okay, that fits in better. Okay, there we go. That looks nice. It was just a little bit off-color-wise. So they have plenty of food. Uh, I don't think I have enough bins around, so let's add a couple bins while we're waiting. And let's put one bin there, one bin here. Yeah, because if you don't have the bins, then they're just going to throw stuff on the floor. And then the janitor's going to have to come and pick it up because they're not going to clean up after themselves, the freaking slobs. And here we go. And one more garbage bin. And that should be good as far as garbages go. I don't see a lot of garbage really in this area. Okay, so what are they requesting now? We have a monthly profit of 55000 and funny film and student lounge party. All right, we can throw the student lounge party because we're well, we're up to one hundred and eighty thousand. Money is coming quickly now. And throw a funny film. And what else do we need? So we need a ramen kiosk. So this is our main building here. Now we don't want to start cluttering it too much with a bunch of stuff. So let's put the other ramen ki uh, ramen kiosk over in our new area and let's put it so it is aligned with our dormitory building there okay and let's hire one more assistant just because i think we need one so let's get one that has the medic ability and unfortunately they're not really that great as far as stat scope i could get this one that one's better though. Okay. So we got uh, an assistant that had just the rapid for movements and we don't want to keep ones in the queue here that are somewhat negative. So we cleared that off. We need two more for the one star and then we just have to get the average food rating. Okay, so to do that we do vending machines and food kiosks. So that's actually going to be relatively easy. Let's uh, to check the food. What do we do? It is... Shoot, I forget the hotkey, but why don't we just quickly turn the food on. So there's some food here. Let's add another food and drink over in this area here by the dorm. So if the food and drink is high, then that's good. Okay, so we got some there. I don't think we need another one here. Do we have any over here? Let's add one more by the gym. So we will put it on this side of the on this side of the door. So they can get it when they're coming in. And now what about our extra area here? So I have just one food thing there. Uh, what about by this bathroom? Is there anywhere that's a decent place? So if I throw out the garbage, or if I move the garbage there to maybe beside the bench here and then I can fit a food and drink kiosk or vending machine there and there we go that fits neatly now over here I have one now let's put one more by the staff room just so that's that should take care of all the vending machines we need for inside and let's add I would say maybe three more kiosks so let's add a hot dog kiosk and we're gonna put that one uh, let's see. I'm going to turn off the food because I don't need that anymore. So I'm going to put the hot dog kiosk right here and put a coffee one beside it. Then I'm going to put the veggie one. I would say over here is a good spot. So we're going to line up the veggie one. 
with a Slurpee, and that should do good for the food rating. If not, I can always add a little bit more, but I don't need to. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Alright, now it's going up. Okay, so we just need the two more classes to hit the B grade, and or two more students to hit two more classes that are average or B grade. Once that happens, then we are golden and we are done the first star, and then we can just see what the second star is asking for. Okay, so what is this person crying about now? So he's saying, oh, I'm afraid I want to drop out. So let's get you sent. You're doing pretty good. Um, I think I'm going to quickly copy the the two rooms that are there, the pastor and the medical office, and put them over here. Because we don't really have a lot on this side that we need. And yeah, let's just uh, put it there sell those items, and then do the same with the medical office, first aid office. So that was the pastor, this is the first, no, that's private tuition. It's the first aid we need, and maybe we'll copy over a private tuition over here as well, because we have students coming over to this side, so yeah, we'll sell that, and I think it just, uh, by not really bothering to check, I think I just got rid of a bunch of posters, but I can always put more of those in. And I think that uh, after this video, I'm going to turn in for the nights. Uh, but I'm definitely going to finish off this year. So it's a little bit cold in this area now. So let's quickly add one of these. Heat that up. And how is the attractiveness level? Probably dropped a bit because I got rid of a bunch of the posters. So let's quickly add some in. So I like the little train one. Let's add an occult poster. And let's add the other one. And there we go. So the attractiveness level is back up a bit. And maybe one more on this side. A nice pretty little sunset. And the rich guy. Let everybody know that we want the rich guy here. Okay. Now that that's done. Let's turn off the attractiveness again. Hotkey is numpad 1. And resume the game. Did somebody order a guy in a bug suit? Nope. Well, they better have. Well, we didn't, but let's see. So, suggestion box for training three staff members. Uh, Roachburger promotion. So, there's something for expelling one mole, but I haven't seen another one since that other one I expelled. So, campus is level 15, and they have a requirement. Target range. Okay, so that goes in the gadget lab, and that one is 18,000, which we can't afford right now. So why don't we just put it in while we can. Let's see, target range can go there, and that's done. And so let's see if with four spy classes, let's see if we can get the last two students. We're averaging a B-plus rating, so I think we have a pretty good chance of it. And then once that hits, I'm just going to make sure that the food rating goes back up to above 75. I don't know why it went down. I mean... How much more food do these people need? So, just waiting for January to finish, just to see what we need. So, food rating is still going down. Why on earth is it still going down? And how many of these analog things do they need? So, yeah, I don't see a spy at all. And, okay, so we hit the B grade for spy school. Now we just need more food on drink centers, so let's see about uh, food here. Okay, so what is it that's these guys' problems? Why are they so angry? Happiness, thinking about dropping out, package, thirsty, tired. Well, why are you guys so tired and thirsty? I mean, we have drink stations all over. Maybe I'll try putting in some of the cheaper ones. I mean, I don't really like them. I prefer, because the... Energy one, or the more expensive ones do give a bit of a boost. Uh, let's put... Hmm. Okay, so we have one there. Now, we don't want to cluster everything up too much with useless food and drink centers. But we already have one here as well. Let's uh, maybe add the less expensive ones over here. 
So food and drink. And maybe put one more patch over here and put it on this side of the the staff lounge. Okay, so that should be good. Now, we have quite a few kiosks. So this one is the food one. That's a food one as well. Let's try putting maybe a couple kiosks over here. Now we have a, a coffee and a Slurpee, but no food ones. Okay, maybe that's what the problem is. So actually there's one veggie one here. So let's put in the hot dog one next to it. And maybe the, okay, so there's three that are food and two that are drink. So can I fit any over here and still make it look decent? Uh, not really. Not a lot of space here for a kiosk unless I put them against the wall. So why don't we try that? Let's try putting the hot dog one uh, lined up right there. Okay. All right. So that should be that should be enough to get the food rating back up. The student is unhappy and refusing to pay. Well, you know, then go to tuition. And another one thinking of dropping out. What is with you dropouts? Why is the happiness so low? So energy is zero. Food is zero. It's There's literally food everywhere. What on earth is wrong with these people? There's food and drink all over the place. And yet you guys aren't eating any of it. And there's a bathroom right there. So his hygiene's going up, but it's like, you know, you have a shower and a sink right here. And let's just copy those over. And let's make sure that they have enough showers. Okay, maybe that was the issue. Maybe there weren't enough showers in there. Let's um, do the same thing over with this one as well. Okay, so let's copy the shower. And then get back to doing the star because kind of veered off track a little bit so and there we go all right so now as far as the star goes the food rating is still a bit low why are you low and they are asking for a microscope okay let's place the microscope while we're waiting uh the microscope for some reason i like putting on an angle now and then just sticking it in the corner because not a lot of items most of them go in a 90 degree direction but the microscope you can put in a like a 45 direction too so since we have that let's clear the clear this and just hope that their food rating goes up because i don't know why on earth it's dropping hmm. <sighs> well just gotta get that up let's see here yeah, there's garbage all over the place. The food rating should be fine. Oh, okay, so we do have a spy around here. So, let's see. So, from what I've read about the spies, when, like, the spy will stand in this room, and then if the one you think is the spy leaves the room, and the confused symbol kind of stays above their head, then that's the spy. So, let's see here. Okay, so it's definitely not any of them. Uh, it could be any one of the people here. Okay, so... Okay, where did it go? Okay, so... All the spy confusion seems to have disappeared. Okay, so there's no more confusion. We just need that food rating up. So I don't know why they're... Okay, so the pastor's getting busy. And I did put a pastor office in the other one. Let's try maybe copying this room and putting a second one over here. And then it can always be removed again later. Because this I want to eventually be the... Uh, what was it? The student union. Now, do we have anybody with the pastor ability? Nope. Okay, so 
Let's get rid of some of these ones that we're not going to use. Uh, squeaky clean. Let's hire the librarian and put them in. Where's my library? I know I have a library. Right there. Doi. Okay, so let's not replace. Let's have up to three staff working there. And so now that we've done that, let's see. So we don't want that medic. We don't want a marketing person so much. That one is level five and pretty good. This one is level one and decent. And okay, and let's hire one more assistant. So staff, so the level is level 16 now. It's just we need that food rating to pop up to 75% and then, then we're done. So there was a mole here and looks like it was, okay, here we go, confusion. All right, so somebody around here. I think it's probably this guy. So Julia Rake. So yeah, we're going to cheese it a little bit. Do a quick save. And it's saved. Okay, actually, I don't think it's Julia Rake because you look at it and it's like the confusion is still over here. Okay, so... So I think it might be this guy here. Because as people are going away from him... Alright, so I'm going to try firing Beatrice Noor. So let's do a quick save for that. And it's saved, and... Now let's see if expelling you is going to help. Expel. Check. Okay. So... I think that might have been the spy. Because there's no more confusion around. And... Okay, maybe that wasn't the spy. Because I didn't get the achievement for expel them all. Okay, so let's try a quick load. Alright, so <laughs> I'm not going to get too used to that. It's just like I'm still kind of learning the whole spy thing. And oh, there's just really no indicators. I think this is the most confusing little feature they put into this game. The spy one. It's just there's no easy way to really tell. Okay, so it wasn't Beatrice Noir, and so there's a chance it might be Rupert then. So let's try expelling Rupert Noir. Okay, maybe it was Beatrice Noir. Okay, so, alright. I guess I was right then, because it did the whole... That thing that kind of looked like an eye when I expelled Beatrice Noir, so... I think that must have been her then. It's weird that I didn't get the achievement, though, for expelling Beatrice Noir. So... So let's see when I go back in, because... That must have been the person. Alright, so Beatrice Noir. Yeah, when I expel, it gives that thing. So, I'm guessing that that means that that's the spy. But why on earth didn't it... Okay, now I have to expel two moles. Okay, so that was a mole. Alright, so now we just have to get the food rating up. That's our big goal. And train three staff members, and what do they want? A funny film again? Alright, fine. You can have your little funny film. But get your food rating up, guys. I mean, that is the only thing holding this back. And it could be that it pops once the year ends, because with everything cleaned up, the student's attitude seems to get a lot better. Yep, so I definitely think I got the right person. Look at them walking away all sad. Oh no, they found the spy! Yes, we did.
Yes, we did. So, I was right when I did it the first time. It's just sometimes you have to trust your senses. And there's no no uh, more confusion over here. So I did get the right person. And let's just go food. It's the only thing holding us up now. Yeah, there's just so much food now. And it's like, why on earth isn't that food rating up? I mean, I know I have some kiosks over here that aren't really used. Alright, fine. Maybe hire one more staff. Okay, so it would be nice to have another pastor. But nobody is really bound to just doing one specific job. So let's see. Nope, oh, that person's not good. Uh, Lollygagger. Maybe a... Maybe another medic if I hire one. Oh, just... Try mouth. So... Alright, let's go with the medic and just put them on, like, selling food and drink. And hopefully that works, because... It would just be nice to get that one achievement before the year ends. Hmm. Oh, did we finish all the research projects? No. So we don't have an... Okay, so actually, do I have any loans out? Yes, let's repay the balance of the loans. And that does take us down a fair bit, but now... we should. I should have paid it off a little bit sooner. So yeah, there's not a lot I can really plan in this year. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do for the holiday before year four is just extend the area out up here a little bit, add another gadget room, and then I have these two areas to expand. So this is probably going to be where I'm putting a lot more effort. And 70,000 and 70,000 are pretty good. So I'm probably going to really work on that more, put in another panic room. And just work on that. Okay, so we have another mole on campus. Let's see if I can find them and do it right the first time. Okay, I don't see any confusions. And the food rating is still not that great. So I think we'll probably, like I said, I think I'll probably see a jump up at the end of this year. But yeah, where is the mole? Science station. Okay, you guys can have that. So let's put the science station close to the board there. There we go. And back to searching. Okay, so yep. There is a mole around, so I'm thinking it's probably Angela Felton. Because I did see the confusion up here just a minute ago. So let's try doing it quickly with this. So we did a quick save. But let's just watch for another minute. So I think... Uh, I think it's going to be Angela Felton. So... Why is this person following? Alright, so yep, I think it's definitely him. So let's uh, expel. And yep, I got the spy again. Let's copy the bathrooms. Okay, so the academic year is over. I got two spies. Uh, so I'm going to need two more spy teachers and another panic room. Alright, so two expelled, 76 average exam results, and the awards. And let's see if the food rating goes up over the summer holiday. It's already climbing, so 68%. Alright, so we're going to need another panic room, which, yeah, I'm going to buy this one here first, and this is where I'm going to put the panic room, and the, probably going to put it close to the bottom here so the students can get up there. I have 191,000 to work with, and, oh, there we go. So there's our first star. End of year three, we got it. Alright, so the camera obstacle course is a new item unlocked. So I'm not quite sure what's... 
the difference between that and the other one is. I think it's just like for the panic room, you can ter pick whichever one is visually appealing to you. Uh, the only reason I was kind of debating before which one to put down was because in Noble Steed, uh, you could put down the elaborate combat tower or the basic combat tower. And the basic one you could upgrade, but the elaborate one you couldn't. So for two star, B grade gastronomy classes, B plus grade, and our, we're getting there. So I will have to maybe put some points into gastronomy and because we can't really level up uh what is it the spy school anymore with just 20 points so let's see about taking in students reset to default so we can take in 14 i think that's good we'll take in 14 students so that's two classes and we will need to put in Another gastronomy teacher, and another panic room, and another spy school. Two more spy school teachers. Level 12 spy school students. How are our students doing? So let's see here. So for spy, level, we have one level 12. So a lot of them are already getting close to that. And campus level needs to get to 20, and we need to expel three moles. So it's like, <laughs> I kind of wish I got that before when I got the two right. So... Alright, so I have a little bit of work to do before year four, and I might as well take out the loans and just see how much I have to work with. So, 600000 plenty to work with, and not a lot to get done. The campus is pretty attractive. I'm going to put in the student union finally right here, and I have a dorm, staff lounge. I can probably put in another student lounge up here as well. And from there, just a few little upgrades and a bit as far as the attractiveness level goes. I might even change the uh, location of some of these. Maybe move some over to here and then put one of the panic rooms in here. And another, I can just quickly copy this over. Because this is a very basic build for it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the door on this side if I can. Okay, why can't the... Why is the door there for something? That was weird. And maybe just copy the door so there's another one over here. I think that's what it was. I put the door so there was another one here and another one over on this side. Just so they had easier access and they could get to the bathroom easier. Okay, so... A lot of the... Uh, the posters are going to sell, and I'll just have to make sure that the room or the campus gets heated again because I just deleted a large radiator. So, yep, bit of work, and I'll show it off in before the beginning of year four. All right, so let's just clear that off. All right, well, thanks for watching, and we got our first star, and I'll see you next time. Have a good night.